Well, welcome back. The chess team at UTRGV taking the national spotlight and title three years in a row now. Channel 5 Cecilia Gutierrez sat down with the champs who told her this year was anything but easy. It's a sport that requires a lot of skill and precision, chess, and while almost anyone can play the game, it takes so much skill and a lot of practice to win championships. So what does three consecutive national championships take? It's like time consuming. Usually we practice a lot you know, when we're preparing for the tournament, serious tournaments. The UTRGV chess team knows a lot about hard work and even more about winning. It's great to be in, you know, among such strong players, you know, uh, it can only help us improve. Even winning an intercontinental match through the challenges of a pandemic. Many people struggled like with motivation because of pandemic, so it, it wasn't easy for us. So this actually, this result is, it was a very nice surprise for us and we were very happy about it. They even started a women's team this past fall. Actually, I've never been in a like, uh, in team, so it's like new experience for me. So I don't know, we're looking forward to create like girls championships. There is no like national championship for girls, so maybe from next year. Crediting their chemistry as a team for getting them through this year and once again bringing home the gold. I'm proud to be in, in this team. Uh, actually, when when I came, we started winning everything, like all like uh, all this uh, final four tournaments. We we start uh, we start uh, crushing them, uh, and uh, like of course it's uh, it's not only me but uh, our team, and we have uh, like very good chemistry between each other. Maybe that's our our secret. We prepare well and we try our best, and this year it worked, and we managed to win. UTRGV is one of the only schools in the country that offers chess scholarships and it attracts the best of the best. The team says they could not have done it without the help of their coaches, which include Grand Masters and the university faculty and student body. They're looking to bring home yet another national championship next year. Cecilia Gutierrez, Channel 5 News.